I will be pairing all these new fabrics to patterns that I think are suitable for these types of fabrics. Rayon, crepe, all woven, super fun video, lots of color to see, sneak peek of two of them, so stay with me. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing, and every two or three months I do a fun fabric haul, but it's not just about showing you the pretty fabric, I also want to bring you some practical value, and I know a lot of us struggle with matching a style, a pattern, two types of fabric. Sometimes we pair a style to a fabric thinking it'll turn out exactly like it's shown on the product photos and it sometimes doesn't turn out to be that way. Sometimes because of the type of fabric and sometimes because we just haven't adapted to the construction technique to make this fabric work. So I like thinking this up. It does take me a long time to sort of have an idea and have a vision in my mind of the fabric I'm seeing and the pattern but it also helps me because it gives me ideas of what I can do in the future. I always want to point out these are not my plans. Sometimes I do seem really excited about these pairings because I am. I did think them up and I think they would be amazing. But you know how creative I am and how fickle I am <laughs> um, with plans. I, I can for sure make something else down the line. If you later on see some of these fabrics made up into other things, that's fine. I am giving you some ideas from my sewing room to yours to see if any of these could work for you. It could help you decide what styles to pair with these types of fabrics. I have a lot of 100% rayon. Now this is a very lightweight and flowy type rayon. Super nice, super fresh. And actually I think this type of fabric works well for all types of seasons because you know, you can make them long sleeve and wear like a layering piece underneath. If you want to wear them in the winter, it'll still work. And for summer, they just are nice and cool to the touch and everything. These fabrics are sort of wrinkly, they do crease, but because I always buy them in prints, that's how you can get away with wearing them and those creases not be so apparent as you wear the garment during the day. I also have some heavier weight rayon, rayon twills. I have a rayon crepe and then I have a few crepe fabrics, some light, most of them heavier type of crepe fabrics. So they are all print. Um, I think I have an exception of two solids here to share with you. So get your eyes ready, put your glasses on. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of nice things for you to see today. I am extremely happy with these. I have bought them all online, every single one of them. And there's only one, one fabric here that is not what I expected. I still like it, but you, you'll see when I show you. I'll show you the crepes first. And I have one here that is like a tropical print, but I like the colors on here because it is a dark background like I usually like my prints. But there is uh, a lot of burgundy in here, pink. It looks like an autumn type of fabric for me. It does have some green in there. Although I don't really go by seasonal colors because my, my seasons here are not that defined. So I would wear this in the summer, in the winter, whatever, I don't really care. I have burgundy color shoes. <laughs> I really love this. And what came to mind, and it's because I've already made one of these in the past, is the fringe blouse. I was a pattern tester for when Gabriela uh, increased her size range up to 24 last year. And I made two tops. Because I have enough of this, I would like to make a short skirt to go under that bodice, so it'll be a dress above the knee. This style, as you can see there, has two types of necklines. I have sewn before the one with the button-down V neckline look. I would like to try that notched type of neckline here on the front. And with this crepe that is medium weight, I would just have to be super careful with that interfacing, block fuse it, stabilize that neckline. You know, if you take really good precautions of stabilizing your necklines, you can pretty much do any design in these types of fabrics. Because the gathers are only slight in this design, I'm willing to try those gathers at the waist with this fabric because I know it will flow and drape really nicely. The next one is also a crepe. It's medium to heavyweight, I would say. Look at this, you might hate this, I've got it upside down. It is a directional print, so I would have to be super careful with these orchids. So I don't get any upside down orchids, but I love the, the tones of browns and greens and the blue orchids. I have seen actual blue orchids in the supermarket, um, like the real flower. I, I'm not sure if that's natural or if they tamper with the flower to make it blue. I'm not quite sure. I do have orchids outside in the trees that are just like wild and I have <laughs> nothing to do with them and they are beautiful. 
but I love orchids and you know what I'd make with this? I made a while back some wide leg pants, a free pattern from Peppermint Magazine from Common Stitch and I made those in crepe and I love how they feel, I like how they look, I like how they flow and I think I could make a pair of pants with this. Just making sure that this orchid doesn't end up on my crotch. I don't care if it ends up at the back or my bottom or anything but I would not like to have an orchid there in the crotch area on the front. There would just be a statement pair of pants that no one else has, you know, orchid pants. <laughs> the next one is another crepe that is, I would say, a bottom weight crepe as well. I was super happy to find that these were heavier than what I expected because on the website all I could see was the print and I thought they were going to be like the really light type but that's fine, I don't mind having heavier ones too because there are always designs that work for those as well and I love the print of this one it's navy with all these colors I think there's a little hummingbird somewhere that little hummingbird right there it's a beautiful fabric and I have a project that I am thinking in my head and now I can't tell you much because It'll be a pattern test, but it'll be something that you don't expect from this one. So you might see this one made up in a little while, although I'm not going to give any more details about that, but I am excited about doing that. And every single fabric I'm dropping on the floor when I'm done with this, there'll be a huge mountain there. <laughs> I love this one, and this is one that I sneak peeked at the introduction of the video. When I saw it, I was just like, oh my gosh, I couldn't wait to actually see it in person because the picture taken was so good. Look at this. I, I like all the colors, of course, and that it's on a dark background, but the, that blue, that pop of blue for me is everything. I like the greens as well. I like it a lot because it doesn't have much pink in there. I mean, not that I don't like pink, but I like colors like this much better for me. And I love blue. I have been loving blue so much lately, as much as I love red. And that pop of blue on this crepe is beautiful. What I would do with this is the Mali Woven Shirt by Style Arc. I really like their shirts and their jackets. I've made a few and they fit me really well. I sort of got their sizing, sort of the block sort of fits me well. And I like this one because it's got bust studs, it's got a nice collar, it's got slits on the sides and on the cuffs. And if I make this as a shirt to be nicely fitted to me, it could also be a jacket. I could just open the buttons up and wear a dress underneath and it could also be a jacket. So I like having garments that could be either or, for my weather at least. A type of light jacket like this is perfect, perfect. When I go to church, when I go back eventually, <laughs> it's freezing in there, even though outside it's sweltering. I am always freezing inside the church because of the air conditioning. So having a light sort of long sleeve thing on top is always good for me. Just when I get out of church, I'm like ripping it off because it's so hot. But I could definitely see this. It only has side bustard, so I don't think I would be disrupting the print too much with this. You know, there's no princess seams or that sort of thing. And I like the style of that. I really like the style, simple, you know, to show a nice print there. I have a bubble crepe that is like tie-dye, I think, like blobs of something and I'll open it up to show you. I love this black and white and gray. Super love this. And I have a pattern in mind already. I have been really liking wrap styles and there is a pattern I have owned for years and I need to make it because I love it. It's a Petaluma fake wrap dress from Stitch to Stitch. You can see that it has a wrap bodice and a wrap skirt with a tulip shape. But actually this is totally fake because there is a zipper in, in this dress. The, the wrap doesn't unwrap or anything, it's just um, aesthetic. It looks like a wrap garment but it's safe because you actually get in and out through a zipper. And when there are tulip skirts involved, that means that when you walk you can sometimes see the wrong side of the fabric. And that's why I've chosen this because this crepe you can't see the difference between the right and the wrong. So. You know, it won't disturb me if you can see part of the wrong side of the tulip skirt at the bottom. And I've learned this from experience, from working with fabrics that are like white on the other side. And then it really annoys me that you can see that sometimes. So I, I'm careful about looking at the design. And sometimes if you can see the wrong side, whether the fabric will be appropriate. And that's why I've chosen this one. Plus, I think it would be super nice to have a wrap dress in the black and white. I'm really into the black and white lately as well. The next one is a rayon. And this is a rayon that is heavier than the lightweight rayons. It's still 100% rayon, 
but it's a type that has a linen look so I'm going to try and show you it's like a military green with white little dots I hope you can see the texture of the fabric there that it looks like linen it's not linen <laughs> a little while ago I made the Celeste dress from each to stitch in a similar fabric that was a rayon but a linen look and I really like the feel of that. It is a bit heavier, it has a little bit more body, but all the flow. I would love to make another Celeste dress. I have already done a hack with gathers in a different way. I have another vision of something else and I would love to do it with this fabric because it's just so appropriate for that design. You know, it keeps the structure here of the bodice and that V. It's just the perfect fabric. And I love this. I, would, I, I can just see it already, I just see it. I just recently got these delivered. And they are rayon twill, so a bit heavier. They will have that twill texture if you look at them up close. It is looking red on screen. It is not red or pink. It's very dark burgundy. Um, I think the studio lights and things disrupt the colors sometimes, but it's way darker. And I had mentioned when I made my wrap top from Forget Me Not that I was envisioning a sleeveless dress because I just made the top before in a burgundy. And that's why I got this fabric so so pretty and i'm sure i can get my dress out of this one because it's sleeveless i already know how to put the pleats together the bodice you know i am a pattern repeater these patterns they have their investment in the cost and i do want to make them a few times to make it worth it you know and it's always super nice when you make something for the second time i did already make a muslin for this i corrected everything made my tensile twill version love it and now I just want a solid one in burgundy and have a dress sleeveless. So it's, it'll be a nice, fun, relaxed type project for me. And I have the same type of fabric, but in navy, same rayon twill. I'm sure it's going to look like purple or like light blue on screen. But believe me, it is navy. <laughs> and I still don't know what to do with this. I thought I'd just have it because navy is a color I use a lot. And having a solid in that color available in my stash is not going to be bad. When I need it, it'll be there. Last year when Closet Core released their Rome collection, I purchased those three patterns and I made the cielo top in this red and black and, and white chiffon, transparent, and I chose the big sleeves, the gathered sleeves. I've always wanted to make that again and for sure I'll make it in one of my chiffons because it's actually the only way I will wear humongous gathered sleeves like that with you know if the fabric is really light so I thought maybe this would work you tell me I still have my doubts it's navy and it's got like little chains across the fabric it is very lightweight and very flowy so I think you know the sleeve design with all that volume would cope with this fabric without looking too poofy and I'd like to make it as long as the fabric lets me so not a top probably just a short dress and I like this fabric for it. I don't know, I can just see that poofy sleeve not being so poofy in this fabric and that's the only way I would sew that type of, of design, you know? I wouldn't make it in cotton or like chambray or linen, so that, no. But these ones that don't have that volume, I would. In 2018, I made the Seda dolman top from Cashmerette. I made it in a brown rayon spandex. And this dolman style has cup sizes and all that. It has a tie front feature that is finished with a facing on the hem, also a facing on the neckline. And let me tell you how I really, really disliked sewing those facings on my rayon spandex. I don't think knits and facings, uh, it's not that you can't do them, they're just super annoying and super fiddly, they get super precise, and it's just not the way I would like to finish knit garments. That is the way this pattern is designed, you know, to be constructed. But they also say you can make it with a really light, flowy woven. So I always had that in my mind. I want to try this in a woven. For my bust cup size CND, it only has one and an eighth inch of positive ease at the bust. Um, that's what's designed when you look at the size chart. And that is perfect for a rayon spandex, for a knit. Perfect amount, tiny bit of ease at the bust. Good. There's enough ease at the hips. But for a woven, I don't want to have one and one eighth inch at my bust. <laughs> I just don't think that's enough for a woven. So I would probably size up from my usual size 14 in cashmere and just go up to a size 16 just to make sure I fit into a woven um, with enough you know, wiggle room around there. I would have to see. And if it's still too big, I can always just take it in at the side seams, but I'd rather just cut a larger size 
and have the option of taking it in rather than making 14 and then finding that it's just it's not the same for a knit or a woven you know what i mean and i have this smaller piece of fabric here smaller piece of rayon this was a remnant actually in this online shop so i just got like 1.2 meters and it's black it's very lightweight this is i would say the lightest weight of them all and it's got that print with burgundy and black i really like it and i'd love to make this with a tie feature and the facings and all that with a woven <laughs> what i would do to this one though i would do the facings for the bottom because that's part of the tie finish and i like that clean finished tie business with a facing at the bottom love that but for the neckline, I would probably finish it with bias tape that I would make from here if I have a tiny piece. You know, to make bias tape for a neckline, you just need such a small amount. You can usually get it from scraps. So that's what I would do to this dolmen, Seda dolmen from Kashmiret. Try their CD cup bodice that always fits me really well. So that's good. This next one is so, so pretty in my opinion. It is subdued, you know, it's not very loud colors, but it's still very pretty. I think <laughs> navy background you can see I'm really liking navy now and there's just little tiny like swirls of things of like I don't know what this is but there's tan and white in there and it's just so pretty it's rayon 100% rayon very nice very flowy I have already made the Elodie wrap dress from closet core in rayon so I know it's a fabric that works for me I know how to deal with it you know just stabilize everything i know that it's gonna work but i did mention when i made my dress that it was very fabric hungry and that i didn't think i was going to be making a dress again i will be making a top <laughs> for that i'm sure and i have modified the liner to show you how this top would look i would simplify it though i would get rid of the back center seams for the bodice and for the skirt piece i would just cut them on the fold there was actually no shaping in those seams from what I can remember from sewing the dress. So I, I don't really see the point of there being a seam there if there's no shaping there. So those are gone. <laughs> and for the neckline, um, I would just use bias binding to finish this neckline. I wouldn't use the facings. Bias binding can finish off a wrap bodice perfectly if you have all the precautions of not stretching out the neckline. In my recent video you've seen I've already done the full bust adjustment to it to take it from a B to a C cup. That will make the crossover just a little bit higher and will give me just that extra inch I need across the front to have a more comfortable wrap top style. It'll be a top, it won't be a dress. And as you know, I like making patterns again because I already know how to sew them. Making a top and just simplifying it will be a fun project for me. And I love this fabric so much. I think it'll go super nice with denim underneath. This next one might not be your cup of tea. It is also in the navy background types, but it's got some pink and white, some chains and some designs that are like squares and actually... These are not squares because you can see that they're pointing up. So yeah, they're not squares by the way they're placed on the print there. So whatever I do it has to be something with not many seams as to not, you know, cut them up too much. And I have just recently seen a pattern from Green Style Creations that was re-released. And it's one of the few woven patterns I have because Green Style is more active wear type designs. But they have a few normal ones like that aren't active wear as well and there's a dress that they just re-released to improve their sizing and they they use a different type of sizing with letters so now the pattern is available up to a size that caters for a 61 inch bust so i think that's good that they're like trying to improve their size range and this dress is perfect for this fabric because it only has side seams and then you finish your neckline. And what I would like to do is the one that has the bodice with the gathered skirt, the short version. I'll put an arrow to it on the screen. I think gathers and chiffon, gathers and rayon are something that can mix if the gathering isn't excessive, which it doesn't seem to be from the photos I've seen. So I think this would be perfect for it. Love it. So I would love to do that. I mentioned at the beginning that out of all these online purchases there was only one I was a bit disappointed with and it's not that I don't like the print I like the print it's just that on the website it looked like a really dark forest green like a really rich green sort of like a navy blue but in the green department you know like 
dark green that's how it looked on the screen on every single photo i looked at it looked really dark and i thought yeah i like that but when i got it it's actually like green in your face type green <laughs> it's just totally different um you can see here on yeah the, i think the camera is showing the, the correct color there so it is super green and it's got yellows and grays and whites it's not that i don't like it i still like it it was just a bit of a shock when i saw it and that's what you get for buying online, although, you know, I've had a great experience so far. For you who do this all the time, how do you cope? <laughs> because I usually buy in person. I haven't been able to buy in person for months. And so doing this has been extremely strange for me, extremely strange. Opening the packet up and finding this bright green in there, I was like, what? I didn't pick that fabric. But then looking at it, yeah, it was the fabric I chose. It just looked so different. But I still like it, I still like it, it's not that I don't like it. And there is a dress that I've seen that is from 5 out of 4 patterns and it's the only woven pattern in this brand. All the other ones are for knits and when this was released a while back I liked it back then because it's got a really cool mandarin collar, it has a little placket there. I love little details like that and you can do that with rayon. If you interface everything and stabilize everything, you block fuse the things, <laughs> they won't distort or get out of shape. And I like the flowy design of that sleeve. The owner of the brand is the one modeling this picture here. Oh my gosh, I love that. And, and I can just see that, that this design with this fabric, it would be so pretty. And I did buy the pattern, so I do have it. I'd love to sew that collar and that placket. I love stuff like that. This is another one that I was slightly shocked about because it looked like a red red, like a proper red, like a darker red on screen. But it was actually like a lighter red. And it looks light on screen. It's like a light red, sort of like almost orangey type red. I still like it. It's not that I don't like it. I think it still suits me. But I was expecting like a red red, you know. <laughs> I still love it and it's got those little swirly white flowers there I really love this print and I have been looking at the victory tank from chalk and notch it was released months ago and it's like a swing style crop top I would make it longer of course crop things don't work for me I just look out of proportion because my legs are too long for my height and if I wear crop things I just look super disproportionate <laughs> So I would just lengthen it to like the high hip sort of thing and I like the version that has that V detail there on the neckline with these thick straps. I really like that. I think it looks really cool. So again, these fabrics need a lot of care. You need to interface things. You need to stay stitch things. You need to be careful because it's really easy to deform these things. And then it's not the pattern's fault. It's just, it's just the manipulation of the fabric that sometimes gets designs to not work that well but I've already been past that and I sort of know how to work these fabrics and I do show you that in every single video I make what I do so that things don't end up stretching and going out of shape and rippling and and all that sort of thing I do show that repetitively so you can have good results with rayon although it stretches like crazy and you look at it and it's already like expanding you know you can work with it anyway this next one when i saw it on screen i loved it immediately and when i saw it in person it's exactly the same <laughs> so i was <laughs> relieved that it wasn't like light blue or something but this is navy and swirls it's, it's like big swirl print there i love prints like this that aren't flowers or anything specific you know it's just it's just artwork, whoever designs these. And these are made here locally. I mean, there's lots of textile industry still in Brazil. So they are made in Brazil. <laughs> I love this so much, it's so pretty. And I want to make the Romy wrap top from Pattern Scout. I love that wrap top. I like wrap stuff. If you don't get it already, I do. <laughs> and this is great. This pattern has cup sizes, so I know that I don't have to worry that much about the feet around my bust. And I love the pleat details, the details on the sleeve. I just like everything about that pattern. Um, it's just beautiful. And I did purchase it when it was released a while back. If you probably don't get it, I probably have more patterns than I can ever sew. And every single pattern I've mentioned today is actually in my computer. I do actually own it. So I have gone through and looked at the pattern, the construction, everything, whatever, whenever I mention a pattern to you, 
it is with the deeper knowledge of the pattern the inside knowledge because i already own it i'm, I'm sometimes a bit wary of mentioning patterns that i don't have the knowledge of like inside knowledge so yeah Every single pattern I've mentioned I own, so I can just print them out and make them when I feel inspired. I would love your suggestions because I haven't been able to think up of anything. So if you get the style that I'm looking at, sort of the patterns I like, and if you've been watching me, you probably sort of know the things I might like. And there are so many more patterns out there that I haven't seen probably most likely so please let me know and give me your suggestions i will put these fabrics with a number on the screen so you can tell me what you would like for one two and three the next one i bought online while i was doing an online buying session with patreon and i did buy a few fabrics in that opportunity as some have already shown and then i got some orders like backtrack they sent them down way later than the other ones and this one was one I mentioned while I was buying online that nah, I'm not gonna go there. But then as I was sort of checking out from my cart, I went back and picked it up because I thought, yeah, it could look really cool. And this is a rayon, 100% rayon, but crepe. Has a slight different texture, a little bit heavier. It's just beautiful. It still flows beautifully and it's blue and white and it's got some yellows and some greens and a mix of types of animal prints leopards like tiger and like things cobra i don't know look when i saw it i didn't like it at first but then i started thinking oh this is just so pretty i would just need to be careful with how i place pattern pieces to make this i'll show you again this is the selvage here on the side so you can see that the different types of animal prints go in stripes vertically across the fabric width it would probably have to be super simple a few seam lines so that i don't disrupt all these things you know but it would be very unique whatever i make with this would be super unique and there's a lot of navy here so i'm very happy i picked up this fabric although i still don't know what i would do with it but it is beautiful in my opinion <laughs> look this looks like sugar canes to me the print there are sugar canes around here locally so i see them growing and i can see the, like the long things and this to me looks just like sugar canes or bamboo sticks or something I don't know but I love the colors love the print the print is sort of vertical you can see everything is going vertical so that's good I like anything that's stripey to be printed on vertically I just think it's nicer so if you know of any little top blouse that would look nice with this let me know and comment there this is 100% rayon and I would love to hear your suggestions so I can get more ideas the next one is a rayon twill and I could not make my mind up to what to sew with this one because it has squares. So it's black and it's got white squares. I'm thinking, you know, if I make anything with an open front, I would have to pattern match. I would like to do something on the bias to make it look like that. I think that would be nice. So if you know of a top, woven top that is designed for bias let me know because I, they're hard to find there's not many around also please let me know about indie patterns because i cannot get the big four patterns so if you tell me simplicity this or that i can't i can't even look at that because i can't get those patterns you know so indie brands please <laughs> pdf i mean that i can print at home here in brazil love this i just love it so much I just know I would like it on the bias and I don't think I would enjoy wearing squares across my, my, myself, I don't know. But I do love it, it's just that, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and the next one, this is a rare exception. I got 3.2 meters of this because it was the last amount on the boat and it said there that it was a good deal, so I got it. <laughs> Said like end of boat so i would have a lot of fabric here to make something that has like a lot of um requirements <laughs> look at this this is just so 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 pretty i never look at designs that need too much fabric because i never buy too much fabric but in this rare occasion i have 3.2 meters which is an insane amount of fabric for me i could like make a whole wardrobe out of this but i would like to make something with all this fabric i don't know let me know what you think so please help me out with these. I know some fabrics stay in my stash for a long time because I can't figure out what to make. But then sometimes inspiration hits. 
and it's something that I can't plan or force as a creative person it just happens when it happens so for these I couldn't do it in this time frame I just couldn't think so help me out <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing all these prints and seeing what ideas I have with them that maybe you could apply some of these ideas to you or maybe you think I'm ridiculous and you would never make something like that that is all perfectly fine because we all have our personal tastes and, and preferences, you know. I just like sharing mine. <laughs> I hope this was a fun video for you to watch. I will see you again very soon. Bye!